tonight in a theme that rhymes. God, work with my mind. Get me prepared for what you have for me. There are many of you, you don't have things tonight that you should have. Therefore, we should already be possessing certain things tonight, but you don't have it. You don't have it. And the reason you don't have it is your mind. You'll start being afraid of other things. That's why I always shut the door on the spirit of fear. I don't want to be a part of my life. No matter what's happening. Because I know it comes in through a crack. And then it just takes over your life. Now you feel for about everything. And some of us know it to be true. Can you drive your car for worried about the payment? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I mean, y'all, that, that's real. That is real right there. Talk about the house God bless you with, but you feel that mortgage. You're always complaining about what needs to be done around now. And so in one sense, we're getting a whooping. <laughs> Psalm 112. Jesus. Psalm 112 and 7. He will not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Who is he talking about? Go back to verse 1. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments, commandments having to do with his law or his words. So he's talking about a blessed man who fears the Lord, who delights or obeys God's commandment, laws, precepts, statutes, oracles, whatever you want to call. You see what I'm saying? Then he says, this man or woman will not be afraid of evil tidings evil news you remember what david said i will fear i will fear no evil you don't need to fear an evil report you don't need to fear an evil person you remember all the things i named to you earlier that folks are afraid of in our day and time men take these things and use them as weapons against people to keep people what in bondage I'm going to teach it right. They keep folk voting a certain way. They keep people thinking a certain way. They keep people buying a certain way. They keep people staying in a certain place. I know this word right. I say I know it's right. But see, Isaiah 54, 17 says this right here. No weapon. Y'all ain't ready. I better get ready to close. Isaiah 54, 17 said, no that is shall what Prosper. you better point at yourself no Weapon. form tell it to yourself no you believe that yes. do you believe that yes. so we don't fear we're not afraid when they form I said we're not afraid when they form. Right. Some of y'all ain't saying that. I'm trying, to get you to, I'm trying to get you to make a confession. We're not afraid when they form. Amen. Pastor, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. I just don't know what's going on. Listen, he never told you they wouldn't form. Amen. He gave you his word they wouldn't prosper. They wouldn't prevail over you. They wouldn't win out over you. Amen. Weapons form every day. Amen. Every day. But for a true child of God. That weapon cannot prosper. Not if you trust God. Not if you obey God. Jeremiah 17 and verse 5. Jeremiah 17 verse number 5. Thus says the Lord. Thus says who? Lord. Thus says who? Lord. Do you see thus says Pastor Cochran? No. Why, why some of you make it so personal then? Well I know he thinks. Well I know Pastor says. Listen to me, Pastor Man. Pastor Man. Come on. What I say that matters is what God tells me to say. That lines up with His Word. That's what matters. Come on. So when folk tell you old stupid stuff like, you believe everything that man tells you? No. But I do believe everything that man tells me that God tells him to tell me. Now, how, now, hold on, hold on. 
because folks will get deep with you. Now, now oh, what, what you mean? Well, see, that's why we need the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit will bear witness. In Minnesota, we got the Holy Spirit, and I'm full of the Holy Spirit, preaching under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Why is she thinking strange about things that I say, which the Holy Spirit gives me to say? She should bear witness. See, that's when you shouldn't be afraid of your kid folk. You ought to let them know he's an anointed man of God because he's appointed by God. Listen, not the only one, but he's one of the ones. Hold on. And if you don't believe that, why are you here? Why are you here? What games you playing? This ain't no 4-H club. This ain't no social club. Come on. I'm not your best friend. I'm not the person that's ever going to hang out with you. I'm appointed by God to teach you. Hold on. Why he, why he dropping that nugget? Because churches, Satan's attack against the church, I'm talking universal church, is to remove the power from within the church. How do you remove the power from within a church? You take a church and you make it a social club. You make it a place about friendship, playing games, and, and doing activity, anything but dealing with this. Come on. Well, Pastor, we and me and you going to get up and just hang out one sad. We'll hang out on Sunday morning. We're going to hang out on Sunday morning from 1015 to around 12 o'clock if I don't get too happy. That's when we're going to hang. We're going to chill. We're going we gonna to talk. I'm going to come to your side. Lean over. I'm going to be all up in this middle section looking at you, pointing at you. You leave say, man, me and Pastor had a good time. That man, uh, he talking right to me today. See what I'm saying? Now I'm on my left. Y'all think I'm playing, but I'm not playing. Folks are turning churches into stuff God never intended the church to be. It's a house of worship. Come on. Well, some of the things you say make me mad. It should. If I'm truly appointed by God. Come on. Jeremiah 17, 5. Thus says the Lord, curse is the man. Remember, I didn't say that. Who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord. Notice what happened when you trust in man. That's preacher man, that's doctor man, that's lawyer man, that's superman, that's Batman, and we're going to put Spider Man. Come on. Come on. You are cursed if you put all your trust in me. You curse. It ain't going to work unless I get past and pray. What if pastor can't come? What if he can't make it? You curse for depending on pastor like he God. Most preachers won't tell you that. Because so many preachers now want to be worshipped by people. You don't worship me. Respect pastor. But you don't worship pastor. Come on. You don't trust in pastor like that. Come on. This has ruined churches. Pastors sin, they mess up, the whole church gone. Why? Everybody was trusting in pastor too much. What y'all gonna do if I die next week? Huh? Well, they got it for me then. I ain't gonna come to church. I don't know. Everything just, I don't know. Everybody leaving. I don't know what to do. See, you trusted too much in pastor. You ought to arrive at this church saying, look, we're going to take it my right. We're going to give God the praise. And somebody going to be in that pulpit anointed by God to speak to God's people. But we must keep moving. Oh. Tell you, neighbor, one thing about you. You can be replaced. Back to Jeremiah 38. Woo! Some folks just looked in like, ah, <laughs> yeah, well, I did. 
you can be replaced. Only one can't be replaced is God. Come on. We're closing right here. Jeremiah 38. I want y'all to again see this, then we're done. And Zedekiah the king said to Jeremiah, I'm afraid of the Jews who have defected to the child then, lest they deliver me into the hand and they abuse me. But Jeremiah said, they shall not abuse you. They shall not deliver you. Please. No, look, he, he, he's pleading with Zedekiah to obey the voice of the Lord. Jeremiah tried to get Zedekiah to understand, look, though I'm saying it, it's coming from God. That's what I do every time I preach when I say it is well that's coming from God. Think about when I started on it's well. Say to the righteous it's well. Then things start happening at the church. Some of our beloved saints begin to leave and go be with the Lord. But God had already told the church it is well. He said it's well. Some of you when I started on it, some of you have lost your jobs. Some of you are going through things in your body. It is well. Listen to me, y'all. You got to get this in you. I'm more serious today than I ever been. Because when you leave this church, you and I both, we don't know what we got to face. We don't know what we got to deal with. But God wants a word to become a part of your being or your makeup. What's that word? Is well. Is well. You get a call and the person panicking on the other line. Child of God, you got to let become a part of your being. Is well. Is well. Amen.